Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Cad having no good video ideas and pretending to know what he's saying. Yeah. I mean, I did have a decent video idea, but I'm just gonna hit record and like I said, pretend like I know what I'm saying. What we're gonna talk about today is a cube that I've been using pretty recently. Uh, this is a cube I'm sure is being used by many top level speed cubers. Is currently the second most used cube in the Monkey League. Cause I mean, GAN 11 and Pro, obviously. And you know, just by looking at it, you could probably tell what the cube is. And yes, it is the Waylong WRM. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because this cube is made in 2019. And I still think that this cube is one of the best 3x3s you can buy. And today, I'm going to give you advice on why you should probably discard all the cubes from this year or from 2020. Except the RS3M. What? And just consider buying this cube, okay? Anyways, let's talk about the Waylong WRM. But yeah, just turning this cube, it's some show off. Okay, now I'm sure there are many reviews out there, but in this video, I'm just gonna say what I like the most about the WRM. And so, what I wanna say about this is that this cube is a stable cube. I know in the past I've said that this cube is a pretty unstable cube, and it's kind of right, but it's a stable cube. At the same time, it's kind of flimsy. So it's stable, it's kind of unstable at the same time. I don't know. But because of its flimsiness, I feel like my accuracy on this cube, I really don't need to care about accuracy when I'm solving on this cube. Yeah, so like the flimsiness of the cube allows me to care less about my accuracy, but there is a slight downside to that, I guess. Sometimes there are like very slight mistakes you can make, possibly due to like overshooting and all that, because this is also a fast cube. But yeah, that pretty much summarizes what I like most about this cube. Okay, so yes, I am in the process of editing this video, but while I was doing so, I reminded myself of something that the Waylong WRM excels in, okay? And that is, the Waylong WRM is amazing for one-handed solving. Just a bit of one-handed for you guys. And there's pretty much one explanation to why people use this cube for one-handed. And the reason is, the same reason why it's good for two-handed solving, because it requires no additional accuracy in your turning. So for two-handed solving, if a cube requires you to have more accurate turning in order for your solves to be fluid, that's fine. You can just change your turning cell, and it's not too much of a bother for the cuber. But if it's one-handed, I think less cubers are willing to actually change their turning style and so they tend to rely on the cube and so for something like a Waylong WRM you do not need to worry about accuracy and yeah all right uh so different change in scenery I guess I don't know and when I was streaming the other day one person asked me how the WRM 2019 version compared to the 2020 version. And so, let's talk about that. So we have the Waylong WRM, which was released in 2019, and then we have the 2020 version, 
I'm excited for the 2021 version if they do make one. Okay, so here's a comparison, right? So going back to what I said with the WRM from 2019 needing no like additional accuracy, I think it's different with the Wayong WRM 2020. Cause I feel like when I'm turning this cube, uh, it's not too much, but I do need to add like just a slight bit more accuracy into my turns when I'm using this cube. That's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, but one thing that I, th I think the WRM 2020 wins at is its feel, okay? And that's because the turns on this cube are like so silky smooth, okay? And I, I really enjoy it. Compared to this, it's still satisfying. I've explained this before in like previous videos, but I said it has like a thick jelly kind of feeling. You could say it's a silky smooth feeling, but it's more like a, like a thick jelly kind of feeling. But with this, it's just plain silky smooth. That's what I like. But for me, I'd say I prioritize controllability more than feel. And so because of that, I'd say the 2019 version wins the comparison. And it's just a better cube overall. Because, you know, not many people actually use the WRM 2020 as their main. But I'm not saying you shouldn't use it as your main, but if I had to recommend either of, either of these, it would be the 2019 version. Okay, so it is now cubing at home 2.3. And so, let's compete with the Waylong WRM and see how it performs under pressure. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, not bad. Nine point one one. Uh, it's okay. Nine point three two. No. Eleven point two three. Come on, I need to get like a what? Sub, a sub uh, nine, or like a sub 8.5 in order to get a sub eight average, but okay. I guess it's okay. I don't know. I was hoping for a sub nine, but it doesn't matter. So what exactly am I saying? Am I saying your next purchase should be the WRM? I'm just making this video to let you guys know that this is still a uh, more than viable option uh, to get this cube, even in 2021. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at catthecuber. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. But if you're asking me, right, to get either a WRM, a GAN 11 and Pro, or a premium RS3M, probably go for the RS3M, I don't know. <laughs>